If you happen to own the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens for EFS crop sensor cameras, I'm gonna be telling you today how you can adapt that EFS mount onto a Canon full frame EF mount camera. A little bit of context though, I have the Canon Rebel T8i or the 850D, internationally called. And since that camera is a crop sensor camera, this lens is perfect. Uh, for that type of camera. But I also have another camera setup that I use, which is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with a Metabones Ultra Speed Booster. That speed booster is EF mount and only accepts EF mount. If you try and mount an EFS lens onto that speed booster, the bulging EFS glass element or that mount element kind of hits that glass so you can't actually put it onto the adapter. I ended up getting this lens mainly for real estate photography, but I also wanted to have the freedom to use it for real estate videography as well. And having owned the Blackmagic camera, I really wanted to use that camera for videography. So I looked online to see what other options that I had. All I could really find was this hack sawing thing that you did with it, which I really didn't want to do. I just didn't have any faith or trust in myself that I would actually do it properly. So um, I found another solution, which was a pretty well-reviewed um, EFS to EF metal mount adapter. And this is it right here. As you can see, I have successfully mounted it onto the lens and we're gonna be talking about it. Is it worth it? Should you do it if you have this lens? And what should you keep in mind when you are going through some kind of modification like this? I ended up getting this adapter and it is theoretically very straightforward. We'll get to the caveats in a second, but really all you have to do is you need to have a screwdriver, unscrew these screws that is holding your EFS mount to the lens, take it off, put the EF mount on, screw those in, and voila, you've got yourself an EF mount lens. In theory, it's super simple. There's just a couple things that happened that kind of slowed me down and caused me a little bit of um, stress and anxiety, if you will. The first thing that you've got to keep in mind when you're doing this is you have got to have a minuscule screwdriver. I had to go to the store and pick up a precision screwdriver toolkit. I got about halfway through the disassembly process before I realized that I was starting to strip these screws. Here's the other thing, and this was the one that caused me the most headache at all. And here's the other thing, which is the thing that caused me the most headache. You need to use the original Canon screws that came with your lens. When you buy this mount adapter, it's gonna come with four screws for you to use. I would highly recommend and beg you not to use these. I ended up using these and I couldn't screw them in all the way and then I ended up stripping them. I couldn't get them out and I couldn't get them in all the way. So they ended up bulging and I couldn't mount the lens to any camera, even the Canon. So what I had to do is I had to get like a little pair of small pliers and squeeze the tiny little screws and just wedge them out. And it took a really long time to actually get those out to put the screws that came with the Canon lens back onto the mount. Once you do that though, it works. The electronic mounts have been working brilliantly with my Blackmagic camera and Metabones uh, combination. Um, the fit on the Canon is pretty tight. Really, it, everything's good. The, the only thing to keep in mind is when you are zooming and retracting this element right here, the glass element goes up and down and it, it does leave some part of the lens exposed for dust, but I usually keep pretty good care of my lenses, so that's usually not a problem. Uh, but once you do get this adapter on, it works amazing. Hopefully these tips are helpful for you if you are interested in modifying this lens. If you do it, you spend that 30 to 40 bucks to get that adapter, just keep those tips in mind. And honestly, I think you'll be super glad you did it. Even if you don't want to attach this to an EF mount camera system of some kind, having this metal mount uh, kind of gives you a little bit of peace of mind in knowing that it's going to wear less over time and uh, it's probably gonna last you a little bit longer than the plastic mounts that Canon throws in their EFS lens lineup. If you like the content and you found these tips helpful, please give a like and a comment if you like and please subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. I'll see you in the next one.